little bump dates. So this is the current situation of our bedroom total mess we have this design duo bassinet we used last time but since we have a really attached toddler we need a different solution something that will attach to the bed so the baby will be safe and fox can still sleep with us if he wants which obviously still happen almost every night or every night let's be honest so hi everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to our really tiny bedroom that we still love i'm dora in case you're new here i am planning for baby number two my husband and i are prepping the house this is um, a video where we're gonna set up the bedside nursery like we have the nursery and we are doing the bedside area today we just built the bassinet which we got a new one this time around i love the design duo that we had last time it's the most beautiful option in my opinion however there are two things that i don't like about it first of all that it rocks and the second thing is that you can't attach it to the bed and have the side fall and like see the baby so with a toddler that is very much attached to us and wants to snuggle every night i, I want to say almost every night but it's and like lately it's every night so thinking about that we wanted something that's a lot more safe for baby so i have to have something next to my bed that foxy cannot touch or reach so we can keep her safe so we got another bassinet and i know it's excessive but i do feel like it was worth it for us for our situations specifically i'm not regretting the design duo like bassinet i think it's beautiful and we're going to use it downstairs last time i just carried it down and up the stairs all the time so i feel like it's really nice to have two i know it's excessive but again for us for two floors for house with a toddler tired mama for me it's 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 a really good solution that's what we're doing today so we're gonna probably change the layout of this um bedroom right now the bed is against this wall which is perfect for us without anything in the room except for our clothes eventually we will have the clothes inside the closet but the closet is not done so our clothes are still out and about here i don't mind honestly we're just here sleeping most of the times we're either downstairs or in the kids rooms so with what we have right now we're gonna try to make the most out of it and we're gonna turn the bed towards the window like a big window that we have here and we'll have more room towards that side to have more area to walk around there hopefully that will work out we're gonna try it now and see how we can make the most out of this small room i'm so out of breath let's do it a little bump date We actually had this set up when Foxy was a newborn as well. Remember when we have it over there? It was really convenient. So hopefully it will work out this time. Let's see. An iPad? Yeah. I was looking for it. Oh, really? Oh my God, this is perfect. Look at how much room we have here. Oh my goodness. Even though there it's kind of tight with like your side, with laundry and clothes and all that here i have so much room and that's what's important because we're gonna have everything for me and baby here look at all this space i honestly forgot why we moved it the other way Perfect! I'm so 
so exciting! So cute! I mean, the only thing is that we can't attach it to the other side. It's gonna be like this. Honestly, I don't think we're gonna use it. We're not gonna use it. It's just gonna be nice for now. It's cute. We're gonna leave it like that. But when baby comes, it's probably gonna, it's not gonna be here. And then we're gonna switch it over and open this side. This side's open. So yeah. So it's just gonna be right here for now, waiting to be used. I love it. This is what we came up with. I really, really, I'm so happy with how it turned out. I am gonna obviously fill everything here. It's gonna be so, so good. I can, I can see it, I can feel it. I'm getting so excited and sweaty because I just washed the cart in the bathroom in the tub for like 20 minutes. Anyway, I really hope it was inspiring a little bit. And maybe if you still haven't decided on a bedside, bassinet maybe it will give you some points to think about obviously again i'm still in love with the design duo one it's beautiful however for the second time around since we have someone joining our bed we can't really have the baby with us if we want to we need something a little bit easier to put in and out like for me at least because especially for the first few weeks when you're recovering from birth it's really hard to pick them up and down all the time so having that um, side opening is going to be really helpful yeah so that's it for today I just want to share with you our new layout for our bedroom how I'm setting this area out I really love how it looks and how it feels there's plenty of space more than I expected Dior has this space like I feel like it's such a good layout for our bedroom and I really don't know why we change it but whatever this is how we will have it um, from now on everything for baby is going to be in this like a little compartment down and like the bottom and everything for me like I will do probably um, breastfeeding postpartum and snacks in the bottom it's gonna be in a different video when I'm gonna actually prepare for those things so make sure you are subscribed and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss anything plenty of birth and baby content is coming up so make sure you are tuned in yeah if you like this video make sure to like it actually like button it really helps me and I'll see you again in the next video Bye guys! Bye.